Welcome to Classic Game Room. You don't need to have a Space Arcade or a Centipede Arcade machine to enjoy one of the greatest video games in existence because you can play it on your Atari 5200 with the trackball controller. But is it as good? Let's find out. It's Centipede, one of the greatest arcade games ever made, released by Atari in 1981, a game played with a very unique control system, a trackball which provides an incredible amount of speed and precision that you use to destroy the centipede and other fast-moving objects on screen like spiders and scorpions and fleas. A level of precision that's impossible to duplicate with a joystick, especially the 5200 joystick. This controller is horrible. But you already know that. Now it's possible to enjoy Centipede without a trackball on game systems like the Atari 2600 that really don't give you much of a choice and if you grew up playing it that way, you may never know the difference until you play with the real thing. However, the Atari 5200 is the premium Atari system, or at least it was in 1982 and until it wasn't. It has better graphics, improved sound and analog controls, as well as a terrific trackball option with which you can play Centipede. And this is a very good version of Centipede, by the way. Let's take a quick look at the trackball controller, which I've previously reviewed. I like this thing a lot. It's one of the best things the 5200 has going for it, and serious collectors should not be caught without one. It pains me to have to move the TurboGrafx-16 out of the way, but... It's got to be done to make room for the 5200 trackball controller. Now let's play Centipede the correct way. Well, just because you have a trackball doesn't make the game any easier. In fact, I find this version of Centipede harder than the arcade machine. For starters, it looks and sounds pretty good. It looks and sounds like Centipede. Except everything on screen is twice as big as it is in the arcade game, including the spider, which is a complete terror. I mean, it's pretty obnoxious in the arcade version, but here it's just downright devastating. Although the trackball is very good, you're not going to get arcade level speed and precision, but for a home console version from the 80s, it's excellent. Just make sure to watch out for that ultra fat spider. Stay away from it. There's three levels of difficulty I found standard plenty hard. And while I enjoy this version of Centipede, it has a different flow and speed than, than you'll find on the arcade machine. So it's a slightly different game that requires some strategy adjustment, but it's, it's still Centipede and it's still really good. I love the smell of centipede in the morning. Smells like Atari, which smells like victory. And coffee. Coffee and victory go well together. It's a great combination, you should try it. I'll admit that in most of my Atari 5200 reviews, I've spent half the time complaining about the controller. Centipede is the complete opposite. I'll spend half this review praising the trackball because controls make or break centipede. And when played properly with the 5200 Proline Trackball, you get a great game. Here, of course, you need to buy one. Well, that game was awful, but at least the trackball controller works. It's just... It plays very differently if you're used to the arcade version. I'm not just making excuses. I kind of am, but it's true. And they're not cheap these days, but if you collect for the Atari 5200 and have a working one, then you have money to spare anyway. It's definitely a premium, serious collector's game system. And this is one of the easiest games to find on the Atari 5200. I recommend it. It's a lot of fun, it's a good version of it, and the trackball kicks ass. So thanks to my friend Dave for loaning me the trackball, and thanks to Atari for making such a wonderful video game, one of my favorites. If you're a younger viewer who's never played Centipede, I would try to find one of the arcade machines in your area. There's a lot of them out there. Check bowling alleys or laundromats. I've seen them in random places. Now, Centipede is available for just about anything these days, including the iPad. But like I've said, the gameplay comes down to controls, and this version has that special trackball feeling. It's the Atari 5200 Centipede, recommended for 5200 enthusiasts, or anyone living in 1982.
is the best I can do in this game. <laughs>